Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our second video in the Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone in my neighborhood? So let's get started. So you've got a brand new drone for Christmas and you're dying to get it up in the air and start flying it around the neighborhood. But before you do, there are a few things that you need to think about. First, keep in mind that you are required to comply with FAA Part 107 unless your flight qualifies as recreational under USC 44809, which is the exception for limited recreational operations of unmanned aircraft. But you do have to take the trust test and it's free and you can't fail it and we'll have a link below. Next, you need to know if your neighborhood is in controlled or uncontrolled airspace. And the best way to find this out is to use one of the apps on your smartphone, such as uh, Lofts, Air Control, or others, to find out if you need to have Lance approval. If your neighborhood is in class B, C, D, or E airspace, you do need to have Lance approval. If it's in class G airspace, you don't. These airspace apps like Air Control will show you if you're in controlled airspace and they also show you other limited or prohibited airspace as well. Another item to consider is FAA Part 107.39, which states that unmanned aircraft cannot fly over people unless those people are part of your operation or they're under a covered structure or your operation meets one of the categories of subpart D of Part 107. So if you think you might be flying over people, you might want to consider a different place to fly your drone. Keep in mind that you are allowed to fly over homes, even if there's people inside, because they are under a covered structure. Which brings us to the next item though. You need to know within your state what privacy laws exist. Most states have some form of privacy law that states that you can't be flying your drone or hovering over a place where people have a reasonable expectation of privacy. So you shouldn't be hovering over backyards and observing people in those areas that they expect privacy. Remember that this is not an FAA law or rule. It's a state law or rule that you need to be aware of. One last item that I recently heard of was a case where a homeowners association imposed rules for their association that state no drones can be flown in the neighborhood. This is an interesting situation because remember that the FAA is the only entity that can enforce airspace laws or rules. So if your homeowners association imposes a rule like no drones, it's only applicable to your neighborhood. Someone who doesn't live in your neighborhood won't be fined at all. They can't be fined at all because the FAA is the only entity that can enforce the laws. So can you fly your drone in your neighborhood? Yes, you can, unless your homeowners association has rules that prohibit you from flying in your neighborhood and you're not in some form of restricted or prohibited airspace. Just remember that you do have to follow the rules of either USC 44809 if you qualify under the exception for limited recreational operations. Otherwise, you have to follow FAA Part 107. Now, a pro tip is just stay clear of, of anybody's backyards and the, the potential confrontation of a privacy infringement. It's not worth the hassle. You can find more about your own state's uh, drone laws on the UAV Coach website and we'll have a link for that below. Let us know in the comments if you have a question around can I fly my drone and we'll try to get to that in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this short clip and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying and we'll see you next time.